Hi. Welcome to Star Tech Academy where you will learn something new every day. So in this video we are going to set up Google Bard. We will start with the initial part of the process in which we will create an account on Bard and after that we will see all the available options in Bard and then we will learn some prompts on Google Bard to see how well it performs. So first we will open Google Bard. For this just go to your web browser where you have to write bard.google.com enter and now here you can sign in or sign up to your account but note one thing for using google bard you need personal gmail account if you will log in using your work account then it won't work and give you a message that bard is not supported for this account and for using bard you also need to be over 18 years old if you are under 18 years old you cannot use google bard if you are using bard for the first time you will see a screen like this here you have to click on sign in button and here you have to sign in using your personal gmail account if you don't have any account then you can create account for my personal use here you have to fill your first name and last name then your date of birth and gender after that you can choose your gmail address or create your own custom gmail address and after that you have to create a password and then click on next and at last here you have to enter your phone number after creating and log into your account you will see a screen like this here you have to click on try bard now there are some terms and privacy your data and bard configuring your settings things to know terms of service so after reading all these bullet points and texts you can decide whether you want to continue with bard or not if you want to continue with bard then here you have to click on i agree so if you are using bard for the very first time you will see a message like this bard is an experiment bard will not always get it right bard may give inaccurate or offensive responses when in doubt use the google button to double check bard's responses bard can use extensions so to connect you with useful content bard may share parts of your conversations and relevant information like your location with other services these services may use that information for their improvement even if you later delete your bard activity you can turn extensions off anytime on the extension page bard will get better with your feedback and here you can opt in to receive email updates about bard now we will click on continue now here on the left we have our chat history here we can start new chat on the top right these are some icons first one is bard activity then extensions if i click here then you can see we can connect bard with google flights hotels google maps google workspace and youtube we will see this later and here you can see some option privacy help hub updates help and faq and after that there are some settings like you can change theme respond once completed your public links so these are all the options you will see on this screen now for writing any prompt we have to click on this new chat button and here you can see some suggestions and you can see these icons of google maps and youtube which means bard can connect to your maps and youtube using extensions and give you best results so here you can write any prompt or you can pick a suggestion so let's pick a suggestion plant based meal options so here bard generated this prompt automatically that helped me incorporate more plant based options in my diet if i hit enter so here you can see in the results incorporating more plant based option into your diet can be rewarding and delicious way to improve your overall health and well being here are some practical tips to help you make a smooth transition and there are some points and after that there is a conclusion 
and down there you can give feedback like good response bad response modify response you can share and export this response or you can double check this response and if i click here you can see copy and report option now if i want to ask related queries i can write here and if i want to ask some different question i will go to new chat so here i will write explain the concept of artificial intelligence as if you were teaching a child if i hit enter so here you can see that it is giving me an example of a robot friend named robby so in the result you can see that bard is explaining me this concept as i am a child here you can see this option of view other drafts if i click here you can see more drafts so currently i am on draft 1 if i click on draft 2 you can see that imagine you have a toy robot that can only follow simple instructions like move forward turn left but what if we could teach that robot to learn and think on its own that's where artificial intelligence or ai comes in so this is the second result and if i click on draft 3 you can see third result now instead of reading this if i want to listen this i will click on this listen button and now if i write another prompt now explain me the same concept as i am a professional if i hit enter so you can see that here bard is giving me an explanation instead of giving an example of a robo friend now let's see can google bard write a story i will write here tell me a story or create a fictional scenario involving time travel now look at the story bard creates it created an imaginary character imaginary scenes and a timeline and if you go through this story then you will realize that bard actually created a very good story so this is a completely new story which is created by bard so bard is not just knowledgeable it is creative as well so in bard you can search locations search video topics plan a visit and many more things so that's all in this video in the upcoming videos we will see all the use cases features functions and tips and tricks of google bard so that's all in this video see you in the next one